Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Biochemistry SI Program YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about DNA binding domains and what they do. Understanding these domains is important because they are involved in crucial processes such as gene expression regulation, protein folding, and cellular signaling. They can also be targets for therapeutic interventions in various diseases. Now, there are several proteins that interact with DNA that have shapes. The first is the zinc finger protein, which is associated with zinc ions throughout the protein, with regions that are helical and bind to sequences that it recognizes. It is characterized by the presence of zinc ions, which help stabilize the structure. A zinc finger typically consists of a loop of amino acids with zinc ions coordinated by cysteine or histidine residues. The finger-like structure can fit into the major groove of the DNA, allowing it to interact with specific sequences. Zinc fingers are common in transcription factors and can recognize a wide range of DNA sequences. Next, helix turn helix. These are helices on the bottom that penetrate the major groove. This motif is characterized by two alpha helices connected by a short sequence of amino acids, which is the turn. The second helix, also known as the recognition helix, fits into the major groove of the DNA and makes sequence-specific contacts. This allows the protein to recognize and bind to a specific DNA sequence. These sequences are recognized by non-covalent interactions, including hydrogen bonds and van der Waal contacts between the recognition helix and specific chemical groups in the sequence of these base pairs. Lastly, the leucine zipper. It holds two separate proteins in a dimer together. Leucine is hydrophobic, so if there's space, they can actually come together like a zipper, and the helices penetrate the major groove and bind these sequences. This structure promotes dimerization, meaning that if two proteins can come together, they can bind DNA. The zipper itself does not bind DNA, however. It actually just allows two DNA binding domains to come together in the correct orientation to interact with DNA. And that's about it. I hope you learned more about the purpose of DNA binding domains within transcription factors.